Before we start painting postcards, I want to introduce you to the sequence of creating any project. I think it's too easy just to redraw after me. I want to immerse you into the process. I will show you technology that will help you generate ideas for any of your creative projects. So, let's begin. We draw a chart. Our theme is Christmas. Let's think that first of all we associate with Christmas. Christmas tree, ornament balls, festive lights. Christmas is so cold season and meetings are also a must on this list. We got four columns. If you enjoy the process, you can add more items and get more options. Vertically, we also divide the chart into four parts and add the same elements there. Don't think about the evenness of the lines. This is just draft. So let's define our palette for today's project. This will be the colors that we associate with Christmas. Of course, this is a primary green, the color of the green Christmas tree. By the way, today I prepared two glasses for washing brushes. One is for washing brushes from paints of red and yellow shades, the second for washing brushes from paints of green and blue shades. This is necessary so that the water stays clean longer. The next color is red, classic color of Christmas, and yellow, the color of festive lights. Here are our three primary colors that we will use today. What we will do next? Now we will mix it up. No, not color, the elements. Sounds unusual, are you agree? We will try to give one object the future of another. Let's experiment with shape and color. This is a very exciting process. So we start. We cross out the boxes where the same objects intersect with each other. The first column is the Christmas tree, plus the second row ornament ball. In the box at the intersection we draw the result. I drew ornament ball with a Christmas tree pattern. You can follow me or create something by yourself. The next box is Christmas tree plus festive lights. I keep the shape of the Christmas tree and draw the color lights inside. The following is Christmas tree plus mittens. I will draw mittens with a Christmas tree pattern. Let's paint what we got with the basic colors of our palette – green, red and yellow. This is a very good exercise to warm up your fantasy. We continue to work in the same way, in the same sequence. Mixing the elements of the chart one by one, we got a lot of interesting options. Now we can choose a few and make our cards based on them. Now let's
let's write the text options for our postcards. Merry Christmas, joy, warm wishes. So, this is how the work on the idea for creative project looks like. And now we are starting a detailed drawing. The first postcard is ornamental ball with color lights inside. I have prepared a clean sheet of A5 format. Before drawing on the main sheet, let's make a sketch. This will help you to see how to place the ball on a sheet, how to place objects inside the ball and how colors are combined with each other. We do color tests on a small piece of paper, green, red, yellow, primary colors for this work. Today I work with a round brush number 3, then art supplies. After preparing a draft, we're getting started on the main sheet. We need to draw a circle in the middle of the sheet. How to find the middle? We draw two diagonals, their intersection is the point that we need. We draw a circle with a radius of 4 cm. This is, will be our ornament ball. Try not to push the pencil too hard. Draw the following elements, bow and text, and then we start working in color. We will fill the ball with circles layer by layer, starting with a light colored paint and ending with a more saturated color. Follow me. We paint circles of different colors, size and intensities. Try to make the first layer transparent and the following layers are more intense. This way we create a foreground and background effect. A very important moment in any creative project is the contrast. In this project we use contrast in color and size of elements. We will finish our picture with a decorative bow. I will change the brush to a thinner one. Before you start to work on the main sheet, practice on a draft. And the final element, we put the text on the card. Our first Christmas card is ready. So, next postcard is ornament bowl with branches and berries inside. Before starting work, draw a circle with a radius of 4 cm as we did in the previous lesson. Before we start filling the bowl with a pattern, let's practice painting branches on a draft. We paint a thin curved line. This is the stem of the branch. Then we add a few leaves to this curved line. Try it with different brushes and choose the most suitable one. Now we will try to paint the berries. We paint a round shape and fill it with color, leaving a small white space inside, a glare. Next, try to paint other decorative elements, bow and text. A 
After that, we start working on the main sheet. Place the branches inside the bowl in a free position. Use alternating direction from left to right and from top to bottom and different size, large and small. After completing the pattern, add a bow and text. One more Christmas postcard is ready. So, our next Christmas postcard – bright, warm, cozy mittens. The shape of the mittens is a bit more complicated than the ball. Let's try to simplify it. We will stylize this form. The first thing I always advise to do is to look at the original and make a sketch from life. Let's start. I got this sketch. Now we will try to break the shape of mittens into geometric shapes. Two ovals, large and small, and a square shape in the base. Next step, outline the resulting image and smoothing the sharp corners. Now we have a stylized form of mittens. This will be the basis of our work. Next we draw a sketch of our postcard. We put all the elements of our composition a pair of mittens, text and snowflakes. And thereafter we make a pencil drawing on the main sheet. Before you start painting, clarify the pencil lines with an eraser. Let's put the lines of the pattern on the mittens. We will alternate the lines of red and green color. And also add a circle and heart pattern. We make a sample of color on the draft and begin our work on the main sheet. Follow me. Try to make the first layer not too intense.
After completing the first layer, we give it to dry and then add fine lines with a more saturated color. And also add round and hard button. Final touch, paint a transparent shadow of the mittens. Then we add snowflakes on the background and text. One more Christmas postcard is ready. I hope you enjoyed this process, I will be glad to see your result in Instagram.